true false question. So we have x minus, we have a couple of nested radicals here. We have the square root of the cube root of x to the sixth. And it's, we're asked if this is equal to zero. So what you want to recognize here is that you have x raised to an even power. So even if x was negative or positive, you're going to raise it to the sixth power and it's going to be positive. So then when you take the cube root and then the square root of those positive numbers, you're still going to get a positive number. So even though the cube root and the square root act as powers, so we have x to the one-sixth raised to the one-third raised to the one-half, and these of course would all cancel out because one-third times one-half would be one-sixth, one-sixth times six is one. You have to consider that, like I said, no matter what we put in for x, we're going to get a positive answer here because it's raised to the even power. So this is not simplified to just x, it's actually absolute value of x. Okay, so x minus absolute value of x equals 0 is only true sometimes if x is a positive number or if x is 0. So this uh, question here, so this is going to be false. Those don't cancel out um, because you have absolute value of x.